What is up? Deja to me again. I don't think I want that to be the name of my subscribers, but I'm just gonna call y'all that until I figure out the name for y'all. So today's video is gonna be something that was highly requested on the when I posted uh um what it's like working at Twin Peaks Hooters to the Kelp video. It went crazy, like, it got 1K views, and only, I think that's, like, the only video that's up to 1K, but, you know, we getting there, so we on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so it's gonna be so lit, we are almost there, so, the reason why I got this song, first of all, y'all, I ain't put this song in a good seven months, I done gave some weight, so, um, this is a little tight. So the reason why I have this on is because this video is going to be a video showing y'all how to get hired at Hooters. I might just say Twin Peaks and Tilted Kill. I don't know, but I'm not about to change my clothes. And why would I be talking about Tilted Kill and Twin Peaks with this shirt on? I don't know. I might. Depends on how long the video gets. Depends on how I feel. I might save that for a separate video. But yeah, before I get to this video, like, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to let y'all in on all the secrets, all the tips on how to get hired so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the application process. I have my computer right here, so I'm looking at the things that I want to talk about. Um, so what happened when I went to Hooters is I went in, I was looking at a whole bunch of YouTube videos. I was like, oh my gosh, like they, first I was like, they pretty. I want to go to work and I want to look cute. And yeah, so I was like, I want to do it. So I looked at a whole bunch of different videos. I'm trying to make this video too long, so I'm talking a little fast. So I went in there and I was like, hey, um, are y'all hiring? And then the girl that was at the front, she was like, oh yeah, we're always hiring. You do, you could put in the application online, come back, or you could sit down and talk to our manager. So I was like, okay, I put, I put in the online application. So then I went, like, it had been like three days for that. And I really wanted to work there super bad. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, I had to work here. So I went to, um, I went up the next day. No, after like three days later, and I was like, hey, can I talk to your manager? Luckily, the general manager was there. So I went and I was like, hey, this is my name. Submitted the application. He was like, oh yes, I actually looked at you, but I looked over you. So I'm looking at him like, what you mean you looked over me? So he was like, um, because it was like a picture, like you have to submit a picture for your application and like on the TV screen, I'm talking about it was small words. Like I was playing a song on my uh, on my TV and it had like cuss words and best. He was like, yeah, so they're very specific. And it was, she showed me, he was like, see, I got like 900 applications just for this store. So we look at every little thing like that. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, you know, I still want to work there. So what I wore when I went to the interview was I wore like a v-neck crop top because they known for having they stuff out. So I was like, okay, let me wear that. And I just wore some jeans. Don't go in there with no stripper outfit on. Don't go in there with looking like, <laughs> just look casual and cute and good. Another thing, your hair. Always have your hair down. Don't have like no braids to the side when you go in there. Don't have like two braids. Don't have your hair in a bun like this. Just have your hair all the way down. No twists, no braids, no dreads, down. Cause when you go in there, you wanna look like how you gonna look when you go to work. And Hooters girls cannot wear their hair no other way except down. So yeah, um, the interview process. So he, he basically was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna interview you. I'm gonna have my other two managers interview you. So I did have two interviews. So I never had served before. I never been a waitress. I never did any of that before, but I just said, I really want to work here. So, and at the time I had just turned 18 and to work at Hooters as a Hooters girl, I think you have to be 18. So they was just like, oh, you barely couldn't it. So I was like, yeah, so in there I told them and they just asked me the questions like, why you want to work here? And, um, tell me about yourself. You know, you want to, you want it to sound good. Like I wasn't lying, but you know, don't be like, don't say nothing you wouldn't want your job to know. I mean, that's common sense. I was just like, you know, I do makeup because I do do makeup and I have to have my makeup on for work. So that looks good. And I was like, I'm in student for nursing. Um, well, not yet, but like to be a nursing student so that they know how my schedule is. You know, you want to let all them, you want to know all that know. And you want to just show your personality. Don't be in there like, yeah, no. You want to, as you see, like, who's going to say, hi. You want to be like very bubbly when you go and you're talking to them. And then at the end, they basically, well, I got hired on spot at my interviews. He was like, if you want it, it's yours. So I was like, bet, 
bed, bed. Y'all yeah, went to work there so bad. So I was like, I called the first thing I did, I got in the car. I was like, Mari, I got the job. She was like, go ahead, go, 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 you got this. So yeah, I was so happy. Um, See, I told y'all what do you wear for the uh, interview, what I wore. I mean, just be casual. Don't go in here with no tennis heels because I think that if they're looking at you, um, like when they're looking at you, they're going to go ahead and try to, you're going to have to try on the interview. I mean, not try on the interview, try on the uniform. So don't go in there with no tennis heels on because you have to walk out there in front of the whole restaurant with tennis heels on with this on. So yeah, I just went in there with some flip-flops and I didn't, I thought I looked messed up with flip-flops and they took a picture of you because basically you signed this thing saying I was this small when I started, I'm not going to get big, I'm not, I have to stay the same weight, you know, I'm going to keep the hoodless girl image or whatever. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I knew I was going to gain weight because though I, had, I was on a whole weight gain journey and I was just like, but this going to look good on me, I'm not going to look sloppy because I was super small. Like this is when I first started working at Hooters. I was probably like 110 and this is when I stopped. So yeah, your girl hit like a 20, 30 uh, pound difference. But I mean, they, know, they started noticing it and one of the managers said nothing, but I wasn't like sloppy built. So they weren't really tripping. Okay, so this is what you wear. And another thing is I'll put pictures, but you wear different stuff on every day. Like the original Hooters uniform that you wear the most is the white one with the orange shirt, this one. And uh, the this is this is the one, and bartenders wear stuff different, but this is the one I think we wore on Fridays. Fr I don't remember, y'all. I worked there seven months ago. So eight months ago. No, seven. I think I wore this on Fridays. Then we had a black and green one that looked like this. And we wore that one on Tuesday. So, yeah, it always switched out. And I don't have the pouch and all that on because I'm going to put pictures so that y'all can see what the whole uniform looks like. But I'm just going to show y'all. And we do wear stockings under this. But for this video, you weren't, you're not going to see all that. So, I did not put the stockings on. And I had to find them. Like I said, I haven't worn this in so long. So, yeah. This is what you wear. This top that looks like this. And this is the back. Oh, I am ashy. So yeah, it just has who just make you happy. That's the slogan. And you wear these shorts that look like this. This is the front. Oh, I look good. Ooh, 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 ooh. And this is the back. So yeah, the stockings will cover that stepping, but it's not like hanging out. Your butt gonna hang out, but it ain't gonna be like hooking like that. So, uh, let's talk about training. So, I had like five different trainers when I started working there. The first day was kind of like no orientation. You gotta put all your information in. Then so then we went to training. So, and then my thing is, ooh, before you try to work at Hooters, I get so many questions about that. Know your information. I'll do a whole video on why I quit another time but um don't go up there and then you don't know nothing like you don't know that you make two dollars an hour everybody think you make seven ten twenty dollars an hour no you don't know your information before you go up there so um had like five different trainers so the first day i just kind of walked around and i did my own i mean i followed her everywhere the second day i kind of did the same thing the third day i did that but i was kind of helping the other girl the girl who's training me out like i was uh, helping her like clean off the tables. I was helping her do a whole bunch of different stuff. The fourth day, I was taking orders by myself. You know, I was putting in orders. The fifth day, it was kind of like I'm doing everything and she's watching me. And I'm like very independent, so I liked that. I didn't like the first like two, two, three days because I was doing basically just like following her. You don't get paid tips um, on those days you get paid hourly not two dollars i think you get paid. i don't remember i think it's like 725 on those days that you are there so um yeah that's how that went and so that was my training and then on i had a mock y'all i had a mock i was like what the heck is a mock so a mock if you don't know what that is it's basically like you serve a manager oh yeah you got to get an alcohol permit because you serve an alcohol and all that so you serve a manager to make sure you're doing like the five the steps that steps of service um i'm not about to even lie to y'all and tell y'all the exact thing that i said because to be honest i really don't even remember as much as i said it as much as i well i did not even work there often i ain't even gonna cap but as much as I was there, I feel like I was there, I should know all of this for like five years straight. But I think like 
I'm gonna to the table say, hi, my name is Deja. I'll be taking care of y'all. Can I start y'all off with anything to drink? This is the first step that you like that we would have to say. I'm not about to go through all this, but I think it was like, would you like to try our Hooteray? Cause like that's what the, they wanted you to sell. So it's like, if they wanted you to sell this, you gotta sell that. They want you gotta say that. Like that's a whole part of step of service. And so you basically have to do that with the manager. And if not, he's gonna put you back in training. And you're gonna stay in training until you can do all of that. So it's very nerve wracking because you're with the manager and usually somebody that you never, you don't know. So it's your manager one, two. Most girls that go to be you, this girl, they really want this job. So you already nervous. Three, it's like you gotta be like, like I'm really quiet. So like I had to basically put on a whole front every time I was like at work, like, hey, what's up? Like, oh yes, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry about like that little whole little front or whatever. Um, coworkers, I didn't really have a problem with none of my coworkers. I was getting tired of some of them at the end when I was like ready to give up and quit, but they wasn't too much of a problem. You working with all girls, stay to yourself. I mean, I started opening up towards the end and that's when I started having problems, but not like, it's just that they were doing too much. I didn't have like beef with any of them. Like it was just too much going on. That's not why I quit, but you know, you working with girls, just be prepared, period. Um, do I like work? Did I like working there? Like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all why I quit in a whole nother video. But I like I would say out of all of the places that I've served, Hooters was my favorite place to work at. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked working there. I liked the money. I liked I just I liked it. I hated Twin Peaks and yeah, y'all heard me say that in my last video. I hated that place. But um yeah, I liked it. I quit because of a whole bunch of different reasons, but I mean, if I had to pick one job to go back to, it would be this. So yeah, um, that's. She was. She was. <laughs> Polar Express. She was like.